For me, it's uh, one of the biggest events of the world in GT. I really like this race since a lot of time. Uh, I dream it to, to drive here. Going faster is more exciting for us, so it's really nice. And as the tarmac is brand new, it's like super soft and super comfy to, to be driving the car there. So it's really nice. I mean, driving, driving a Ferrari is amazing, but driving the 296 GT3 on this crazy track as far and for 24 hours is, is really amazing. Like always in Spa 24, you get a bit of everything. You get four seasons in one uh, race. So the good thing is that we seem to have a very good all-rounder car. When the dark comes in, it's like super, super dark. A lot of rain, heavy rain in the night. So in the morning after the rain, uh, actually we were recovering a little bit. Uh, team did a great job, the car was great. with the second one undercut, uh, so I entered very fast in the pit and uh, Ale completed the job by taking uh, the both car. In the last four or five hours, we took the lead. Uh, it's 51, that's the lead car, but can't get into the pit lane. It's a shame to lose the race just to find a, a car uh, that is blocking the pit lane. I don't think we deserve this, but uh, it's like this, it's racing. What I can say, we are so proud of what we did because they are really important points in difficult conditions. And like you know, Spa is always Spa.